This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Valheim video. Today we're going to talk about finding the perfect seed. Let's get to it. So I see a lot of posts and a lot of people talk about the perfect seed, but the thing is, is the perfect seed for one person isn't always going to be the perfect seed for another person. And I've recently come to realize there are still a ton of people out there who don't know about an absolutely amazing website that can help you find the perfect seed for your Valheim playthrough. So today I just want to take the time to make you aware of said website and talk a little bit about it and how to use it and all that good stuff. So here it is. This is ValheimMap.World and it allows you to see a seed before you go and play it. So let's talk about how it works. So first off up here is where you put in your seed where I have test world up here. You can put in whatever you want. So we could just type in something like that. Well, I can't fit the D in there. So we just got perfect C. Anyway, uh, then we're just going to go down here. And once we have our seed entered and we have our version selected. So if you're starting a new seed now, you will want to pick this one here, which is the current version. If you're playing on an old seed and you want to know where something is, you will select an older version. And we'll get to that here in a minute. But first, we're going to talk about new seed. So we're starting a brand new game, new seed. We have this selected here. We have the seed that we want to check out and we're just going to click go. Then you got to wait patiently for a minute for it to do its thing. It's going to tell you it's loading. And here we go. So this is what perfect C would look like if we made this our seed. We can zoom out. We can zoom in, take a look at all the different land masses around here. But let's say we want to see where the bosses are. We want to know if this is going to be a good one for, I don't know, a speed run or something like that. We can click this and it's going to highlight all of the boss locations for us. And now we can quickly and easily see where all the boss locations for that specific seed are going to be. What if we want to know where the trader's at? Well, we can just unclick that and we can click show trader. Now, this is the thing. It's going to show you all of the possible spots the trader can show up. Whichever one you go to first is the one the trader will be in. So now we're just going to click OK and then we can zoom out and we can see there's a lot of different spots for the trader to show up, but one is actually relatively close to spawn. So we could just go to that one first and it would make sure that the trader shows up in that spot. What if we don't want to know where the bosses are, but we just want to know where a boss stone is? Well, we can check this box here and it's going to take a minute to do the thing. And now it shows us all of the different locations for the boss stones. So these are the stones that when you go up to them and they read them, they show you the closest boss location. You can easily see them scattered all over the map and know exactly where they are. Now, another interesting thing that this thing does, well, it shows treasure, but treasure is all over the place. As it says here, any buried, unburied, treasure chest, usually part of something else. Uh, a lot of that stuff, once you have the wishbone, you, the wishbone will show you where that stuff is as you're just running around with it equipped. Uh, the cool thing though is it shows you where the Leviathan is. Now it says that it's not a sea serpent, but I've heard word. Now I haven't tested this, so take this with a grain of salt, but I have heard word that they share the same location, the sea serpents and the Leviathans. So if there isn't a Leviathan there, you have a chance of a sea serpent being in the area. So let's say you want to put that theory to the test and you want to go out sea serpent hunting, or you you just want to know where Leviathan spawn. Well, you can do this and then we can zoom out and you can see all the different possible locations a Leviathan can be at. Now, if it's true that they share the same spawn location with a sea serpent, if you go to these locations and there isn't a Leviathan there, there could possibly be a sea serpent there. And then it just goes on for all the other different things that you could possibly want to know about. Say you want to know where the maypole is going to be. Is this going to be a good location for a maypole? Well, you check that and uh, it looks like this seed doesn't have a maypole at all. So uh, yeah, if you want a maypole, don't use this seed because it looks like it doesn't actually have one. Do you want to find all the bees and just have an absolutely stupid large beehive colony? Well, you can click that and it will show you where all the beehives are as well. So you can go and collect bees super easy. And it does the same with dragon eggs, structures, shipwrecks, all of that. You get the idea. Now, let's say, for example, you have a seed that you're playing on right now. You've been looking forever. You can't find motors spawn location anywhere, but it's an older seed. All right, here we go with an old seed. 
So let's say we generated this seed. We've been playing on it for a little while. We're not sure at which version it is. What we can do is we can click show bosses. Now we generated this first one here on the newer, right? So we can see that motor is over here, but we know that it's not generated within the past couple of weeks. So it's not the super newest version. It's probably a little older. So what we can do is we can go back to uh, 148.6. We can click go. Now that shows us that on that version, motor would be over here too. So we got a pretty good chance that motor's probably over there if it's not a super, super old seed that, we're, that we've generated here. So we could sail over to here and check to see if motor's there. If motor's not there, you could also just go back one more. If for example, you don't wanna take the time to sail over there and check to see where else motor could be. So here, it looks like motor is on our starter island. So what we could do is go check there and then go over here and check over here if motor is not here. If motor shows up here, you know this is a good one. So you're good to stay on this version and everything should be spot on if you wanna know where any specific thing is. You can also change the visible layers. So we can just do biomes only if we just wanted a biome map so we can see the different biomes there. We can also do no terrain and just fog if for some reason you wanted just fog if you didn't want spoilers. So I guess this would be if you wanted to know where the boss location was but you didn't wanna know what the land looks like when you're gonna get there. And then if we come up here, we can also change a bunch of other settings. So you can change the biome colors you can change the map quality. You can use dots instead of the icons. You can change the icon colors. You can also save the, the preferences if you want to do that and erase all of your favorites as well. And last but not least, if you want to, you can also download the map. It will download with all of the current markers that you show. So if you want a lot of information, make sure you go through here and you check a bunch of the different things. So we'll just do something like uh, show the Leviathans. Let's see what else would we want. Show the Maypole. Let all of that generate and then go to download the map once all of the icons are on there. Now that we have all of our icons that we want, we know where all of our bosses are, we know if there's any maypoles or not, and we know where all the leviathans are gonna be, we can come over here, click download the map, we got different options, we got small, medium, or large, and then you just click download image and then save it as an image. And then you can reference it whenever you want without having to keep the website open. All right, that's pretty much it for this one. Just a little short video. I just wanted to make more people aware of this site that it exists. Um, by the way, if you can afford to, you can go down here and click to donate to the creator of the website. I highly advise doing that because it's an absolutely fantastic resource if you can afford it, even if it's only like a dollar or two. The person who's making this, is making it free for all of us out there. So yeah, if you can afford to support them, please do so. It's an absolutely fantastic website to help you find the perfect seed for your next playthrough or help you find that sneaky, sneaky trader who is somewhere hidden on your map and you've been looking for him for months. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. I wanna give an absolutely massive thank you and shout out to my supporters on Patreon for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.